Hi everyone, Russell here. Um, I just noticed that Honda released a new uh, original accessory from them. It's called the particle separator. Um, for all of you that's been following my videos, one of my complaints has been is how fast uh, the, the air filter clogs up with dust. Um, and one, another one of my videos, I drove over a thousand miles and the air filter uh, was soaked uh, with rainwater that worked its way into the air filter. So I've attached a picture of what it's going to look like, but basically um, to install it, I read through all of the directions. You're going to take off this cover, which if you just watched my valve adjustment video, um, I removed that. Um, there's eight uh, push rivets to get that off, and then you'll get to the snorkel behind there. Um, and then there'll be a couple more push rivets and a hose clamp holding in that original, what Con Honda calls their snorkel. So you'll remove that. It has a little chimney cap on top of it. Terrible design, a big complainant since day one. Then you're going to hook a new pipe up to where you remove that snorkel from, which is just right here on the backside. And then there's going to be a new piece that comes in this kit that's going to fit into here. The pipe is going to come out. There's going to be an elbow here. And then it's a flexible hose. And then Honda is giving you the option to install it on, this, on the bottom bar down here or on the top bar. But the one catch is if you have the rear hard panel or the rear soft panel, you cannot use this. The other thing that's really kind of unusual about this is there's going to be a rocker switch to turn an electric fan on that's going to be inside of this. So some advantages, you're gonna get, you know, if you mount it on the top roll bar, you're gonna get about another two feet of um, um, water that you can go through because instead of having your, your intake there, it's going to be up here on the top. So it'll be about two, two more feet. Um, so if you do decide to mount it on the top, it's going to restrict your rear view uh, mirror there. Down on the bottom, of course, you know, it um, can't go through quite as deep a water as before. So right here is kind of a picture from the directions. And if you go to the, you know, Honda website, which I think is like shop.powersports.com, honda.com or something like that um you'll find that in there and i'll give you the instructions for it but this is what it's going to look like like i said the flex hose coming out from the side coming up to the top and they sh they have it shown here where it mounts to the the top for that so to install it you will need the the switch plate here um it's going to take another um, slot there and then you'll need the sub harness as well um, to install it. it the directions are saying that when you're parked you can turn the rocker switch off so the fan is is not on anymore which just kind of seems a little unusual so here's a printout um, from the accessory web page that's what it's going to look like and of course that's mounted on the lower bar there because you can see it's right behind the seats you know the product uh, description here Particle separator by s &B helps eject dusty air before it reaches the air filter, which helps the air filter stay cleaner longer, which, like I've said, I've been complaining about this. Kit includes two different options for mounting low or high on the roll bars there. Includes rocker switch that allows you to turn the fan off when parked. Does require Honda accessory switch plate with voltmeter and sub harness. Right here not compatible with both rear panels so i'm planning on um, getting the the honda turbo kit um, as soon as it's available which should be in two to four weeks so i'm going to hold off on getting this because i believe the turbo kit is going to have a different uh, air box and different air filter on it so i'm not quite sure that this is going to be compatible with that so i'm holding off but i'm just making this video to let you know something is available if you're in dusty conditions and you're tired of replacing that $50 air filter.